How is everyone? Check, check. Uh, okay, all right, we're on, we're rolling. Uh, yeah, gonna start with a bit of a demo and then we'll talk after. Let's see how this goes. Oh, um, I probably need to first. Oh, this worked before. Linux audio, am I right? Is actually really awesome nowadays with Pipewire, um, but it's still a good joke. <laughs> okay, we have sound. Woo. Okay, so that was the demo. Uh, oh boy, what did I do? <laughs> These are demo goats, people. <laughs> I swear I didn't touch a thing. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, okay. We are rolling. Okay, so what you saw was Overtone. Uh, let's talk about Overtone. So what is Overtone? I mean, as you can imagine from seeing this, Overtone is a sound and music programming toolkit for closure. Um, and the word I wanna stress here is toolkit. Um, it's really just a bunch of building blocks that you can do lots of different things with, so you don't have to like make drum and bass like I did. Um, you can make synthesizers, you can do algorithmic composition, you can do stuff with samples, you can do sound design, uh, you can play around with music theory and use that in your synthesizers and your algorithmic composition. Um, you can hook up instruments, like you can make like a guitar pedal, feed your guitar through this, or do stuff with MIDI. Um, so it's it can do a lot of stuff. Um, under the hood, it uses something called Super Collider. So Super Collider is this like live programming environment that's been around since the 90s but it has this client server model. So Super Collider uses this weird kind of like small talky language, but we basically replaced that with Clojure and we just use the server, which is this like super powerful synthesis engine. So we can just tell it like, 
give me three oscillators and hook them up like this, and it just goes off and do, do, does it. Um, so that's really cool. Um, Overtone's been around for a while and has quite a history. Um, and as you might see, like the last couple of years, it wasn't super actively maintained. Um, I mean, people were doing stuff with it. It, you know, it's still around, um, but uh, yeah, like that's changing or that's changed sort of the last year. You see there that those spikes of activity at the end. And actually, if you go look today, you'll see even more uh, just in the last couple of weeks. Um, so I started learning Clojure way back in 2013. Um, but what really got me hooked on Clojure, and I think is one of the reasons that I'm still doing Clojure like more than 10 years later, is Overtone. So I have a computer science background, but I'm also a trained audio engineer. And so when I discovered Overtone, I was like, man, this is so awesome. And I was still a noob, but I just, I just wanted to figure this out. Uh, and the, like, the code base was so overwhelming. Um, but it was awesome. And every few years when I had, you know, like a bit of a vacation or some time to do like creative stuff, I would revisit it. Um, and about a year ago, I realized that the project was in a pretty sad state. Um, and that made me sad because I think Overtone has the potential to be timeless software. Uh, so let's talk about timeless software. So Super Collider, like I said, it's been around since the 90s and it still has an active community. So this was just last month at the Heart of Closure conference. <laughs> So this is a Finnish artist named Pulu, uh, who did the live performance, and this is using Super Collider. Uh, this is a book about Super Collider that came out this year. Uh, same guy makes tons of YouTube videos, uh, which is really great for us and for Overtone. Um, but to make it timeless, it has to just work. It needs a stable, solid core, um, and we need to fix a lot of the half-baked stuff that's in there. So like the people who originally started Overtone, Sam and Jeff, they worked on it really hard for a couple of years. They clearly had a big vision. And then at some point, they just dropped it and went elsewhere. And so we're still kind of figuring out with some of the stuff that's in there, like what were they exactly thinking? What were they going for? Um, and so I think, you know, like we need to be backwards compatible the way that closure tends to be, but we also need to allow ourselves to imagine like, you know, like what, what does a more complete and more polished overtone look like and add those missing pieces. So let's talk about the next 10 years of Overtone. Um, so a lot has already improved in the last 12 months. Um, we fixed a lot of the sharp edges so that you know it's much easier to just get into. We've had five releases since then, uh, the last one just this morning, which was a big one. And, and it's, it's speeding up. Um, Ambrose from Type Closure fame got involved and he's doing tons of pull requests. Uh, so the best is yet to come. Um, my first big contribution this year was a pattern library, which is what I used in the demo. Uh, it, uh, it's inspired by the pattern library in Super Collider, but it's all like very closure under the hood. Um, and so yeah, Overtone is ready for you. We're still around. Uh, we're in better shape than ever. Uh, it's easy to get started, easier than ever. Um, and it's, it's a lot of fun. So really this is an invitation, you know, to like come and join the fun. Uh, and we're talking about it because so far the releases are still like zero something. Uh, we could just call it 1.0 because it really should be 1.0, but we're sort of like starting that conversation of like, what do we want to put in to like really like make a big splash about this? Like it's 1.0 now. So that's, that's going to come. Um, come join us. We're on Clojurian Slack. Uh, we're, there's an old mailing list, but it's still around. I tend to post updates every now and then there. And yeah, like on the Fediverse uh, is where it's at these days. Um, and come find me. Uh, I'm not going to do like an official office hours, but I'm happy to sit down with anyone, uh, talk them through. Thank you very much.